Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. So I am glad to be back here for a video again. Today we have on the channel an assorted sandwiches Sudoku. The Sudoku was created by Richard Stock as part of his Sudoku variant series. Uh, so far uh, Richard has published uh, I think uh, 305 Sudokus as part of his Sudoku variant series. All the Sudokus are different and have been uh, rated very well on the portal. And this particular Sudoku is rated at 99% uh, straight on the portal. Uh, if you want to check out all of Richard's Sudokus, I will add the link to his uh, Sudoku collection in the description of the video. I will also add the online solving link for this uh, Sudoku so that you guys can try it out before watching the video. And uh, before moving on to rules, as usual, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Your subscription is how you show us that you are interested in what we do on a daily basis. So please hit the subscribe button below and subscribe to the channel. The rules of the Sudoku are uh, classic rules apply. Each row, each column and each 3 by 3 box contains digits from 1 to 9 without any repetition. And in addition, clues outside the grid indicate the presence of a sandwich in a corresponding row or column. A sandwich has two digits that act as its boundaries. Okay, so let's stop here for the first part. So let's say you have 15 clue, which means that as per rules, you will have two cells which act as boundaries. Let's assume that these two cells are the boundaries of the cells. So which means that the 15 denotes the sum of the digits between those two green cells. The green cells are not uh, indicated, are uh, not part of the sum. The sum of the digits between those cells is given outside. Now the second part of the rule is, the clue is the sum of all the digits between those boundaries. The boundaries are the two individual digits of the clue in any order. So example uh, 31 outside the grid means that the sum of the digits placed between the digit 1 and the digit 3 order is not given is 31. Okay, So it's easy to understand. So if we take uh, for example this instance then what the rules say is that either the sandwich borders are this way 1 and 5 uh, that is the clues of these two digits or they can be 5 and 1. We don't know the order but the sandwich borders or the sandwiches will be the uh, out of made out of these uh, two digits given outside right so to consider another example so let us take this row for example 12 and assume that these are the sandwiches then what it means is that these two digits will be 1 and 2 because the clue is made out of uh, two digits 1 and 2 and the sum of the digits between these three uh, that is these three cells will be equal to 12 so these are the rules, with that we will start solving this Sudoku. So the best way to start this Sudoku is to look at the higher valued clues. So in this uh, grid as you can see there is a 36 and even along the rows there is a 36 and a 35. So let us look at this 36. So we know that in any row, uh, column or 3 by 3 box of a Sudoku, the sum of the digits will always be 45, sum of digits from 1 to 9. So, which means that uh, the sum of the digits between 3 and 6 along this column should be equal to 45. But we also know that 3 and 6 are the sandwich borders and are not indicated or not part of the total or not part of the total given outside. So, which means that 45 minus 3 minus 6 will be equal to uh, uh, 42 and minus 6 will be equal to 36. So, which is exactly equal to the sum given outside. So, what it basically means is that the outside clues this or the sandwich clues are at the extreme ends. Let me use a different color. So or at the extreme ends. So now if you add all these digits that will exactly be equal to 36. So these are the uh, deduction that we can get from this 36 clue. So similarly if you look at this 36, 45 minus 3 minus 6 which is already equal to 36. So which means that the extremities would have to be the sandwich borders and the sum of the digits in between will be equal to 36. So now let us look at the next highest clue. We have a pair here. Maybe that will be helpful at a later stage. So if you look at this 35 clue, uh, 3 and 5 are not going to be part of the sandwich sum. So 45 minus 3 minus 5 which is equal to 45 minus 8. So 37. So uh, we have potentially a total of 37 between the sandwich borders. And we also know that 
from uh, 37 to get to 35 we need to ex exclude the two outside the sandwich border right so which basically means that two cannot be inside between the sandwich clues and it should be outside so that has one that leaves us only option either the two is going to be here or here because if it is anywhere else in between then it is going to be encompassed by the uh, sandwich because we need to make a total of 35 and we have uh, 37 so from 37 to get to 35 we need to remove the 2 to get it outside the sandwich total so 2 is either here or here and we also know that now if the 2 is here then our sandwich borders become like this right 3 5 and 3 5 so 3 5 pair would be here because the clue is made out of 3 5 and if the 2 is here then our sandwich border is going to be this way 3 5 and 3 5 these are the only possibilities so which means that in both the cases either this way or this way 2 3 and 5 are going to be in in these four cells only they cannot be in any other cells right so which means that we can remove the 3 from here beautiful so this is going to be a 6 this will be a 3 and this will be a 6 so the 3 is going to be eliminated from here because the 3 is here so th this eliminates the 3 from here so which means that the 3 is either here or here and this 6 gives us a 3 here and now we have got one digit out of the two clues uh, out, uh, out of which the outside digit is made of so we know that now the one has to be somewhere near the 3 to get to a total of 13 it can't be here it can't be in these two cells it can't be here it can be here it also can be here right but it can't be any further because if you have one in any of these two cells let's say you have one here then you will have four digits in between 13 and if you add four digits without one and three the minimum total becomes 17 so which means that at this cell and beyond one is not going to be possible one can be here because then two four and five will give you a total of 11 so not a problem so we deduced earlier that two must be in one of these two cells right now if we can get uh, deduce the 2 to which corner that should be really helpful to us can the 2 be in this cell if you have a 2 in this cell then for this 29 clue the 2 has to be somewhere in these cells because the 2 can't be in these cells and 9 would be somewhere in these cells and I don't see a problem with that but if you look at this uh, cell let's say you have a 2 here let us remove uh, yeah let's say we have a 2 in this cell now if you look at these two clues outside carefully so what they give uh, what information they give us is that uh, 29 will be minimum uh, four digits right 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 29 needs to have four digits at least but we also know that 9 has become now part of the sandwich boundary so 9 cannot be in the, uh, included in the total which means that 29 will at least be 5 digits so any of these highlighted cells cannot be the sandwich boundary right because if you have 2 or 9 anywhere inside this cell let's say you have a 2 or 9 in this cell then uh, as we deduced we need at least uh, 5 digits minimum to get the 29 total because 9 is not going to be part of the sum so 1 2 3 4 5 and then the sandwich boundary would have to be outside so similar explanation for this cell and this cell also cannot have five digits in between so which means that the red cells cannot have two or nine and the next important deduction to see is that this 28 clue also behaves in the same way we know that 28 will also have minimum four digits either 8 plus 9 plus uh, 4 plus 7 or 8 plus 9 plus 5 plus 6 right so uh, but 8 is going to be part of the uh, uh, clue which means that 8 can, uh, eight cannot be in, uh, included as part of the sum so 28 is also made up of minimum 5 digits so using the same idea all these 3 cells also cannot contain a 2 beautiful right so which means that there is only 2 scenarios possible either we have the 2 this way 2 in these 3 cells and 9 in these 3 cells and which means for this 28 clue 2 will be in these 3 cells and 8 will be in these 3 cells right or
the 2 is going to be in these three cells and 9 is going to be in these three cells and because of the 2 for the 20 it will 2 is going to be in these three cells and 8 is going to be in these three cells only two options possible in either case we either have the 2 in these three cells or 2 in these three cells which means that this cell cannot be a 2 a beautiful reduction so we can place the 2 remove the 2 from there so which means that as uh, we already reduced 2 is in one of the corners so this cell would have to be a 2 so let us remove the corner pencil marks so this would be a 2 and now for this uh, clue outside 3 5 has only two options left this cell and this cell so 3 5 is going to be in these two cells right now let us look at the 16 clue so to make the total of 16 we need at least uh, uh, two digits right 7 plus 9 is 16 so we need minimum two digits so one cannot be in any of these cells so one is one is possible here one is possible here one is uh, not possible here because then the 13 will be violated and one is possible here 1 2 3 4 so 2 3 4 5 is equal to uh, 3 4 5 14 so one can be in any of these three cells but one important reduction that we uh, need to notice is that because of two being in these boxes the two in column 9 has to be in one of these two cells three cells sorry it can't be in the red cells so two in box six would have to be in these three cells but now that gives a, another direction if you have the one here the two becomes part of the sum and you have only one more digit to get to 16 which is not possible so one would have to be in one of these two cells right and two has to be in one of these three cells and because of the one being in these cells one is eliminated from all these cells right all these cells cannot contain one we earlier marked a one here which got removed somehow so uh, all these three cells cannot contain a 1 so which means that for the 13 clue we have only one option for the 1 and 1 would have to go here so this is a 1 so these two cells must sum up to 13 now and now uh, we may look at this 31 total it's going to help us i think for making 31 we need at least five digits right 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 and some other digit will uh, give you minimum 5 digits so which means that using the same idea as here any of these highlighted cells cannot be uh, part of the clue for 31 right so we will remove the highlighting from here because that will create confusion for the horizontal clue or the row clue so let us remove the uh, highlighting from here so using the same idea none of these digits can be 3 or 1 of course 1 is ruled out but 3 is also not possible here because we need minimum 5 digits and 3 in any of these cells will not uh, have leave enough space for having 5 digits right so which means that we can remove 3 1 from these cells okay so now uh, 3 must be in these cells right so let us make a pencil mark so 3 must be in these cells and of course 1 must now be in these 3 cells right and if you look at the uh, total carefully uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 uh, which is not going to be part of the uh, sandwich sum so 45 minus 4 is 41 right and for 31 we need minimum 5 digits and 2 digits are going to be the boundary and we also need to get to uh, exclude 2 digits such that the uh, total becomes from 41 to 31 so for that we will need at least two digits this is very interesting so for uh, 31 clue we will need, uh, we'll need minimum five digits for the uh, sandwich total and two digits are going to be the boundary which is not going to be part of the total and now uh, 31 is between the sandwich clues plus 3 plus 1 is going to be uh, uh, how much is that 30, 35 and now we have 10 more to get to the uh, row total of 45 so the situation is going to be exactly like this two digits are going to be outside the sandwich borders two digits will be part of the sandwich border and five digits will be inside for the 31 clue interesting so uh, if we have the three here then one has to be forced here there is no other possibility and if we have the three here then one has to go here and if we have the three here then one has to be here
okay let us just remember that for now because i don't think it is helping us uh, right now so let us come to this 29 glue which is the <coughs> next highest and see if it's helping us and for 29 using the same deduction that we used here 9 is not going to be part of the total which means that uh, 9 will be excluded outside and we need minimum 5 digits so the sandwich borders are going to be in these 3 cells and these 3 cells so 2 cannot be here which means that 2 has to be in these 3 cells and which means 9 has to be in these 3 cells but 9 cannot go here so 9 will be in these 2 cells and now using the same idea that we used 45 minus 2 is 43 and minus 9 is uh, 34 right and we need to exclude uh, 34 minus 5 uh, to get to 29 exclude 5 outside okay so this is a simple reduction we missed we have a 3 here so this would be a 5 this gets resolved quickly this would be a 5 and this would be a 3 which means this is not a 3 which means this is not a 1 correspondingly right these two threes will give these two ones and this one is now eliminated right because one will be in one of these two cells so this one is eliminated so one has only one option in column nine so this would be a one so let me place the one there okay and now you see that we have excluded the phi outside already so phi, this phi can no way be part of the sandwich sum because it's outside the sandwich boundaries. There is no way that this can be uh, got inside the sandwich boundary. So which means that 45 minus 11 is uh, 34 and minus 5 is 29. So we have already reached the total which means that the extreme cells, so these two cells will have to be 2, 9 pair, right? But 2 cannot be here. So these two cells will have to be 2, 9 pair but 2 cannot be here. So this would have to be a 9 and this would have to be a 2 now right so these two cells cannot be 2 now so we got a 2 here so we have 1 2 3 here uh, which means okay there is no other reduction here Okay, so because we have got twos now at the extremities, I think these clues should help us somehow, but I don't see a way yet how. But we can meanwhile we can make use of this clue. We have got one digit outside out of this uh, two digits, which means that the two has to be minimum start from here. So either it's going to be here or it's going to be here. It can't be any further, right? Uh, if you have two here, then we have four digits without one and two, which needs to get to twelve. Not possible. So two will be in one of these two cells. So there is a 3 here and 3 in one of these two cells which means that 3 must be in one of these 3 cells. Okay, now this 16 clue can be utilized I think, right? Uh, you have 16 total outside and 2 is part of the sum. So 2 more digits add up to 14. So there is only one way. 2 plus 5 plus 9 because 2 plus 6 plus 8 is ruled out, right? So this can be eliminated and we, have, we can place 259 here. So the remaining candidates in that row are 4, 7 and 8. So if I look at this 28 clue, 8 or 2 cannot be in these 3 cells which means that 8 in box 5 would have to go in these 3 cells. So can I make use of this 15 clue at this point? If I have the 1 here, then my uh, 5 would have to be somewhere here, right? Somewhere in these two cells. These 3, uh, I'm sorry. These three clues should help us guys because they are really high in value. I think they should be doing something now and we also know that at the extreme rows, 
row 1 and row 9 we cannot have a 2 so that leaves us really uh, low margin for getting those two twos inside this four cells right okay so maybe this clue will help us this clue is going to be outside the uh, sandwich total and we already reduced that two digits outside the sandwich total will need to add up to 10 and now so that is going to be 4 plus 6 or 7 plus 3 7 plus 3 is immediately ruled out because 3 is already part of the sandwich sandwich border so 7 is ruled out from here so this is 4 plus 6 or 8 plus 2 okay so if we have 8 plus 2 then the sandwich borders must be this and this right because if they are this and this then 8 would be here and 2 cannot go here so it is going to be 4 plus 6 or 8 plus 2 still but 8 plus 2 can be possible here right not a problem forty five minus ten here is thirty five and we need seven more from the outside cells so they can be made of a single cell or they can be made of two cells also which we don't know yet okay so what we know for sure is that this twenty nine uh, is already removing to, uh, 11 from the total of 45 which is equal to 34 and we have only 5 more uh, total of 5 more to be excluded outside the sandwich total which means that we can never have 6 or more on the corner cells right so these cells the maximum value in this cell can only be a 5 so 2 3 5 is ruled out so this can only be 1 or 4 or it can be 9 right it can become part of the sandwich boundary also so it can be a 9 and similarly if you have considered this cell uh, this can be a part of the sandwich boundary in which case it will be 9 or it can be uh, 6, 7 and 8 are ruled out 4 and 5 these are the only possibilities here right if you look uh, carefully you will understand that these are the possibilities because if you have 6, 7 or 8 on these extreme cells then they become outside the boundary and we can't get the 29 total it's not possible so this can only be 4, 5, 9 and this will be 1, 4 and 9 these two cells add up to 13 right so they are not giving us information for now this 27 total will have minimum 4 digits and because 7 is not part of the sum uh, ok nothing there really so only thing we can deduce is that they will have minimum 4 digits in between so which means that our 7 can be here and our 2 or 7 can be here and our 2 can still be here so we can't eliminate these cells There is something uh, which you are missing here. Okay, can this 2 be eliminated from here if I have a 2 here then these 3 cells will sum up to 12 and they must be 3 4 and 5 right which is quite possible not a problem and if I have a 2 here then these 2 cells will sum up to 12 again not a problem okay at this point the sudoku has become a little tough
Okay, let me write the possibilities of 2 here and see if we can eliminate 1 by 1. I don't see anything better here. So in this box also 2 will be in one of these 4 cells, right? Can't be anything, it can, cannot be anywhere else. So if I have a 9 here, then 2 is removed from these 2 cells and 2 must go into one of these 2 cells. Sorry, 2 must go into one of these 2 cells. It can't go here because then that would be uh, lead us to 5 here but 5 is already in row 1. So 2 would have to go here and this becomes 1 4 pair. That seems to be possible. What am I missing here? Can I remove the 3 from here? No, right? 1 can still be here and 4 plus 6 and 8 plus 2 is still possible. There is some sharp reduction that I am not seeing here just yet. This clue is done, this is done, so let me highlight something, maybe that will help. All these clues are done, so these two are yet to be done, this is also partially over, so this is also done and this is also partially done. Let's see about the 15 clue, can I have 1 here, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 9, so this will be 4, 7 or 8, 8 is ruled out, 7 is ruled out, so this would have to be a 4. And this would have to be 2, this would have to be 5. Okay guys, this is not possible. Superb. So this is what we failed to see. So there is a 3, 6 pair here, right? So which means that the 3, 6 in the middle row must go into these 3 cells. I can't have my 1 here now. Because if I have a 1 here, then this cell becomes 4. Because none of the other digits are possible. And this would be a 2. And this becomes 5. So... We have 4 digits in these four, 3 cells now, 2, 5, 3 and 6, not possible, so 1 is eliminated from here. So this can only be 4, 7 and 8. So now I would have to see how I can place the 1 and 2 in these rows. So can I have a 1 here? Uh, 15 will obviously require two digits at least so which means that 15 uh, 5 would have to start from uh, this cell or uh, a cell further beyond but 5 cannot be here because 3 plus 6 is just 9 so 5 will be in one of these two cells 3 plus 6 is 9 and 5 cannot be here because then we will require another 6 so 5 would have to be here so 4 digits add up to uh, 15 so 1 5 3 6 and then 2 4 2 3 5 uh, 2, 4, 2, 3, 4, 6, that is possible, okay, you can have 1 here, a 5 here and this can, these 4 digits can be 2, 3, 4, 6, that is possible, okay, so I think this is the only possible option for this uh, 15, right, because we know that 15 will require at least 2 digits, so let us start here, let us assume that this is not a 1, so if you start from here, if you assume that one of the sandwich boundaries is in these cells, then uh, we will require at least 3 cells because with these 2 cells we cannot make 15. So the uh, 1, 5 would have to be here which means these 3 cells will add, add up to 15 that is not possible right. So sorry which means 1, 5 cannot be here and you cannot stuff 1, 5 in these last 5 cells alone not possible. So which means that this would have to be a 1 a tough deduction to see and as we already saw 15 uh, cannot be in these cells, cannot be here because that would give 2 sixes plus 1 3 and it also, uh, it has to be here, there is only one option, this cannot be a 5. So this is a 5 and which means that 3 6 pair plus 2 plus 4 will give you uh, 15, 2 3 4 6. So 4 can be removed from these cells, so th these 2 cells will be 4 7 8 now. 
and because of 7 8 here 4 is in one of these two cells and that removes the 4 from here does that give you anything considerable so if I have a 2 here my 9 is going to be either in this cell or this cell right Uh, it can be in this cell, it also can be, it cannot be in this cell, so it would have to be in this cell, which case this becomes 5, okay, okay guys, this is a really a nice deduction to see, so if you have a 2 here, uh, I need minimum 5 cells between, as we already discussed, so 9 is going to be here or here, if I have the 9 here, then, it, then this cell becomes 5 and I have one more cell outside the total, not possible, right, so 9 would have to be here then, if I have my 2 here, which means that this cell would have to be a 5 which is again not possible so 2 is eliminated from here this is 3 4 or 6 and 6 is also eliminated this is 3 or 4 and 3 is also eliminated super so this is a 4 which means these 3 cells can be 2 3 and 6 only and 4 is eliminated now from here this is 1 and 9 Is there any way that I can make this for part of the uh, sandwich total or is it going to ex get excluded outside? To include this as part of the sandwich total, I need to have one of the two digits outside this. So if this is a 9, then this becomes my 5 and this would have to be my 2. Which seems likely. But we have deduced one more thing here. Two is a, two is in row one in uh, row one column one, and two is here, which means two must be in one of these two cells. So if I have a two here, my nine must go here, and this must be a one. That is again possible. I'm just not seeing a way by which I can eliminate these uh, options. Okay, I can eliminate the two from here, guys. Uh, it's because. For 28 we need to have 7 outside the sandwich boundaries, 28 uh, total and 45 minus 2 minus 8 will be equal to uh, 37, right? Uh, 35. So from to reach 35 to 28 we need 7 to be outside and if I have my 2 here, so then this these 2 cells become part of the outside uh, sandwiches. I mean they, they are cells outside the sandwiches which means that to get to 7 I need to have a 2 again here, 5 plus 2. So which means this is not a 2, so this would have to be a 2, a tough deduction. So which means that my 9 will be at least 5 cells away, so this will be a 9, this will be a 1 and this 2 cells must be 7, 8, 9 now. So I can remove the 2 from these cells, this is not a 2 and this is not a 2. And now the 13 is not 4 plus 9, it's either 5 plus 8 or 6 plus 7. Okay, 2 is because of the 2's here, I can eliminate the 2 from here. Okay, now for the uh, uh, column 8, the two, 2 is going to be in these 3 cells, but it cannot be in this cell, so 2 will be in these 2 cells and 8 is either going to be here or here. But it can't be here, right? Then minimum 5 cells away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to this, this cell, we cannot have a 2, which means that 8 cannot go here. So this cell would have to be 8, right? And now the 2 is 5 cells away. 3, 4, 5. So it's going to be in one of these two cells. So because of this 8, we get a 7 here and a 9 here. This 7 gives us an 8 here, which means these two cells cannot be 8. They will be 4, 7. And this 7 removes the 7 from here. We have a 4, 8 pair now. And now I think we can make use of this total. Let's say we have the 2 here, which means that 28 will be the sum of these cells and 2 plus 8, uh, that gives you uh, 38. So we need to have 7 here, which seems likely. But however, if you have a 2 here, then uh, these two cells must sum up to 7 and uh, that is not going to be 1 plus 6, that is not going to be 
2 plus 3 and it is also not going to be 3 plus 4 because of the 4 in these two cells which means this cell cannot be a 2 so this is a 2 a tough sudoku guys this is a tough sudoku in the sense that you have to see a lot of uh, small reductions so which means this will be a 7 for this 28 total so this cannot be 6 plus 7 now this is 5 plus 8 and that gives a 4 here and an 8 here which means that this cell would have to be a 6 now 1 4 7 9 2 3 5 8 and this would have to be a 6 and now 21 uh, for 31 clue there is only one option left because we have reached the 10 total already outside the sandwich so this will be a 3 and this will be a 1 So there is a 2 here and 2 here which means that 2 must be in one of these 2 cells because 2 cannot be here, the 2 is already here. So these 2 cells must be 5 and 6 but 5 is here which means that we can resolve the 5-6 pair immediately. So this is a 5 and this is a 6. And now for this 24 total, to, uh, we need minimum 3 digits, right? 7 plus 8 plus 9. So let's say I have the 2 here. I cannot have 7, 8, 9 this side or I cannot have the 4 this side because of which I cannot have a uh, total of 24. So 2 cannot be, can be eliminated from here, right? Because uh, we can't have 4 this side then. The 4 would have to be this side and it would be here and we don't have enough space to make 24. So this would have to be my 2. And to have 3 digits at least outside, these 3 cells cannot be 4, this would have to be 4. Superb. So which means that these 3 cells must be 7, 8, 9 now and this cell must be my 3. And we have got one part of the 27 now which means we need minimum 4 digits which cannot be part of the, which should be part of the total and that gives the 7 here. Only one cell for the 7. So these 2 cells must add up to, these cells add up to 27 plus 7 is 34 plus 2 is 36 so we get uh, 9 from these cells so they cannot be 8 plus 1 because of the 1 here so which means this is a 5 this is a 4 this is 8 this is not an 8 this is 7 and 9 and this is not a 9 7 8 okay so 2 can be eliminated from here and that gives the 2 here So I cannot have 2 here now because uh, then these 3 cells must sum up to 12 and only possible option is 3, 4 and 5. But 4 and 5 is here so this cell cannot take a 4, 5. So this would have to be a 2 which means this cell would have to be 9 to sum up to 12. So this is a 7, this is 8 and this is 9. We are getting quick digits now. So which means this cell has to be a 6 and this cells, uh, these 2 cells must be 5, 7 but 5 is here which gives us a 5 here. This would be a 5, this would be a 7, this would be a 7 and this would be a 4. And these 3 cells must, must be 5, 7 and 9. Uh, these 3 cells must be 1, 3, 6. And these 3 cells must be 2, 4, 8. And 2 can be eliminated from here, so this is not a 2. And now similarly 5, 8, 9, 2, 6, 7. So this must be 1, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 9. So remaining digits are 6, 7 and 8. And these 3 cells must be 3, 4, 7, 2, 6, 9. So 1, 5 and 8. And these 2 cells must be 4 and 9. So 9 is here which means this is a 4 and this is a 9. So 8 is here. So this is not an 8. So we have reached the final part of the Sudoku. Now this is a 1 which means this is not a 1. And 3 is here which means we can resolve the 6, 3 pair. And these 2 cells must be 5, 7 and 8. And 5 is here, so 5 is eliminated from here. Okay. So we almost reached the final stage now. There is only one clue uh, that can actively help us resolve this Sudoku because we have finished all the other clues, right? All these outside clues have been finished. Only this 16 clue. This is a very tricky situation now. So let us see where we can place the sandwich borders. That would help us. So this cell is not a sandwich border, right? Let me highlight those cells. This cell is not a sandwich border. This cell is not a sandwich border because 1 and 6 are not there, right? So we have few options left. 1, 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ सैंडविच बॉर्डर राइट सो कैन आई हैव दिस सेल एज दैंडविच बॉर्डर लेट से आई हैव द वन और सिक्स देर now my other one six would have to be either in this cell or this cell right because it will need at least two cells to make 16 so one six would either be here or here now both of the options are ruled out why because this option is obviously ruled out because we need 7 9 here and 7 and 9 cannot be here so which means that this cannot be uh, this side i cannot have one six so one six would have to be here again for the same reason uh you don't have nine in these two cells so which means you cannot have one here and these two cells cannot be sandwich border so this is not my sandwich border so let me remove that as also so can i have a one six here this seems possible so if i have my one here my six would have to be either in this cell or this uh, this cell there is only one option which means this would be seven and this would be nine so this can be a sandwich border we don't know it but can this be a sandwich border in which case we'll have four cells part of the sum and my six has to be uh, one or six would have to be here because obviously five cells cannot be part without the one and the six so this would be my sandwich border so if i have this as sandwich border then these are the two borders and now we have four cells in between which need to get up to 16 so 16 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to uh, 23 and from these three cells outside i have to get 22 which is not possible because of the presence of a maximum possibility of four in this cell right so i can't have these two cells also as the sandwich borders a tough one to see but so this is also not my sandwich border so i'll eliminate that cell also now we have very few options left only three cells so out of which these two cells cannot both be sandwich borders so this would be a 1 and 6 has to be my sandwich border but 6 is here which means this is a 1 this is 5 this is 8 this is 1 and 1 is eliminated from here is eliminated from here and i have to place the 6 out of which 6 is not here so 6 would have to be here and we got our sandwich borders so which means these two cells must be 7 9 so this would be a 7 this would be a 9 this is a 5 and 9 is eliminated from here eliminated from here 7 is also eliminated from there which means this is a 5 which means this is a 2 and 2 is eliminated from here 4 8 and 6 gives us a 3 here a 4 here and an 8 here a beautiful sudoku guys tough one so 5 9 pair must be here but 5 rules out the 5 from here so this is a 9 this is a 5 and which means these two cells must be 7 9 but 9 here rules out the 9 so 7 this is a 7 and this is a 9 and these two cells must be 1 6 these two cells must be uh, 8 is removed from here so this is a 4 and this is a 2 these two cells can't be a 6 7 8 the 7 removes the 7 from here and gives us an 8 here so this is not a 4 this is a 1 3 pair and can't be resolved at 1379245 so these two cells are 68 and these two cells are 34 so a 4 here gives a 4 here a 3 here a 3 here a 1 here a 1 here a 6 here and a 6 here and an 8 here and with that we have completed this sudoku i think the toughest point or the point where i got stuck the most was finding that uh, 15 clue for the, there is only one possibility in row 2 that was a really tough find i'm not really sure if there is any other way to continue the sudoku at that point but uh, i tried my best there and i couldn't see any other continuation uh, that was the point where we got stuck the most or took the took a lot of time hope you guys enjoyed watching is all this brilliant construction by uh, richard stock it was a really enjoyable solve do let us know if you found any uh, shorter ways to continue complete or continue the sudoku uh will be happy to hear that from you and we'll also learn in the process so thanks for watching we hope to see you all soon with the video